Dolphin rings are beautiful to look at, fun to play with, and they show how truly amazing physics is. Bubble rings are very cool too, but since the buoyancy of air is what causes them, they can only go up. The dolphin's body makes a spinning donut of water, a poloidal vortex that's formed when a sheet of fluid at the boundary of a surface separates and rolls up into a spiral. You might have seen them in air as a physics demonstration, or maybe with this popular toy. What makes dolphin rings visible is that they contain air. I discovered you don't need dolphins to make dolphin rings. In fact, you can make them with stuff from your recycle bin. You can tell they're not just ordinary bubble rings, because they'll go in any direction. I'm going to show you how to make a dolphin ring vortex generator. This will involve tools, so make sure you take safety precautions. First make a hole in the bottom of a circular takeout container. You can use a hole saw, conduit punch or knockout set, or melt a hole with a hot metal can. Cut a punch balloon between the neck and the widest part. Stretch it over the lip of the takeout container. The part that makes the vortex is done. Now drill a hole in the cap of a soda bottle. Make the hole the right size to pull a tire valve through. Mine was 9 16 Drill a hole in the bottom of a soda bottle. Make it the right size for whatever tubing you have. Then glue it so it doesn't leak. Fasten the other end of the tubing so that it's near the hole. A zip tie will come in really handy to regulate the flow of air from a high flow rate to no flow at all. Pressurize the bottle. No need to go over 30 pounds per square inch. Now you're ready to make some dolphin rings. Make sure the air is coming up from below so the water vortex hits the bubbles, captures them, and takes them for a ride. There are many ways to push, punch, or squeeze the diaphragm. I like squeezing it with my fingers in back and thumbs in front. The energy from your hands is carried through the ring and it really can knock things around. Once I got into a pool, it was amazing to see how far the rings could go. You just have to see these in real life. I hope people all over the world try this and post video responses with their design ideas. What are the best materials, pressure, flow rate, or technique? How big can they be made? Are these types stable enough to play with like dolphins do? What happens when two collide? I can't wait to experience a dolphin ring interactive exhibit in a science center or aquarium someday.